I'm too lazy to fucking go get any actual tie rod. So I got the tie rod in. The threads were all fucked up, so I'm just fucking grinding it down, shoving it in here, and welding around this. You gotta make sure it's equal length. Yeah, I know. I measured it with the fucking tape measure. Bend it. Man, that's kind of a cool quad, doesn't it? Whoa. What I'm doing right now, this quad that I got with the trailer. It's a pretty good quad. Seat's a little ripped. You know, plastics are coming off. Tires need to be replaced, but taking this tie rod because that tie rod didn't have an end and the threads are all fucked up so i'm going to take i'll grind this down put this equal length i measured the other side to make sure it was right and then uh shove this in and then just weld it up prior got a can am let's go look at it you got the uh 2019 rc rcx 3r yeah yeah it's better than mine but mine will get there got me beat on the radio though yeah dude i got a custom radio but he's got a lot more stuff added to his package than i did i just got the xrs turbo he got the rc version thing is sick it's got a, a winch a little front bumper uh the door inserts aluminum roof intrusion intrusion bars illusion bars they're intrusion whatever uh yeah he's got the smart lock uh what else you got the padded covers for the harness uh he's got the pull bar on the back got the cool sticker too yeah he's got the cool stickers custom custom stickers on there yeah it's a uh, pretty good pretty good little fucking side by side Fuck yeah i love it 10 out of 10. He's still in the braking period, so I didn't really. I don't know if you gave it full throttle yet, but you've been uh, driving in eco mode, right? Yeah, I haven't put it in sport or used the white speed. Yeah, so he, he's gonna be in for a treat when he actually puts it in sport mode and the use the uh, performance key. But yeah, it's a. What do you expect from RC version of the uh, Can Am? So let's go ahead and fucking grind that tie rod bar down and uh, shove that end in there and fucking weld it up. You didn't even knock the tits off the tires yet. <laughs> I am dope big. I'll show you guys. Since it doesn't have a battery, it has a pull start, which is nice down here. So if your battery dies, you can start it with the pull start. Huh? Or if it doesn't come with a battery. Yeah, they, the freaking lady was like, yeah, it's a brand new battery, six months old, get there and it doesn't have a freaking battery in it. Uh, but I've been just using this battery to jump it because I don't feel like, uh, Dealing with the pull start on there. Yeah, simple shit. Quad's a little deep. What do you guys think of the quad? I think it's fucking tits. I mean, it is a little beat up. But it's a little TLC, but it should be a little ripper. I'd yeah, it's free. Huh? I said I'd buy it for free. <laughs> yeah, buy it for free. All right, let's get back to uh, trying to get this tie rod arm grinded down. Dude, perfect. It's got to measure it now. It's uh, 
three fourths of an inch gap to the end of the threads from right there should be perfect. And that's got to put some welds right there. They're going to be shitty welds because I don't really care. If this breaks, I'll just buy a whole new tie rod arm. It'll make a good video if it does break. Good to go. Those looks like some freaking good ass welds, guys. Holy shit, look at that. Well guys, you just seen me fix the tie rod end. It's not the best. I'm gonna get whole new tie rods and tie rod ends and everything like that. So this is gonna work for now. Um, it may break, but we're gonna hit some mud right now. We got a little bit of mud right there. And uh, we're gonna take this thing to the mud. I'm gonna hit it pretty hard and uh, see what happens with this tie rod end. Tires are pretty bald in the front as well, but uh, we're just gonna send it. I do like that people do out in the south when they're freaking in a deep ass hole and they freaking just stand like this on the quad. That shit's hella fun. There's a uh, another uh, patch of mud over there. I'm gonna hit this a couple more times and we'll go over there to that one and uh, hit that one. It's just hella fun. I don't know why I bought a Can-Am when I can have a lot of fun on a fucking quad. But now we got a Can-Am dirt bike and a quad. Fuck yeah.
God damn, dude, I wish I bought a quad sooner. This shit's hella fun. by herself so that's gonna be it for the video if you guys enjoyed if you guys want to see more mudding videos in the quad still have to go mudding in my truck and the can-am not obsessed with it but i like having a quad i had to hit this mud for a video since i did the tie rod and uh still holding so that weld that shitty ass weld that i did i just made that shitty weld for the video i know people are going to comment oh dude that that weld so shit that was just to get a laugh and uh it's still working, so I got mud all over my face. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.